So this is just an overview and a process in March of 2024 on how to use Final Cut Pro to add titles of any size, position, or depth to uh, VR180 side-by-side -side stereo videos. So here's the process I use. First, uh, you need to collect 180 degree side-by-side -side stereo videos. Um, these can come from a VR180 camera with two lenses or from converted spatial videos either from uh, an iPhone 15 Pro or uh, Vision Pro. And I'll have more on that later. Um, then import these videos into Final Cut, add the stereo titles, and export the edited videos into the uh, VR headset of your choice. So here's how you can convert spatial video uh, either with Vision Pro uh, or an iPhone 15 Pro. Uh, in my case, family members sent me their spatial videos from their iPhones and those very nicely went into a spatial video album that appeared all of a sudden and uh, all these videos were marked with a spatial icon. Then the next step is to use an iOS app called Spatialify which costs about three dollars to convert the videos. Um, there are Mac apps that can convert uh, spatial videos to stereo videos with um, different options, but I haven't used them. Um, one of their options is to change the encoding to HEVC, but YouTube requires H.264 side-by-side -side stereo videos um, if you eventually want to post these titled videos. Spatialify is pretty easy to use and uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, what you do, you select a, a spatial video from your spatial album, uh, in my case on my iPhone 14, um, and then you choose parallel viewing uh, among all the other options that are available. And then you have that converted to full side-by-side video. All those others won't matter. Now this video actually took uh, uh, 19 seconds and I speeded that up. And then you can save that video to files and I save it in a iCloud um, folder called Spatial Converted. And then you simply import it into Final Cut Pro. Uh, so the first thing you'll have to do is create a new project and it'll be have to be a custom project to accommodate side-by-side -side stereo video that we've made from uh, uh, Spatialify. And the project will have to be 3840 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. After we've created the project uh, we can go to the titles category and look for our 3D title. And when we look there, there is no 3D title yet. And so we're going to take a side trip to use an Apple application called Motion. From their manual, Motion is a powerful motion graphics tool that makes it easy to create titles, transitions, effects um, in real time. And actually, Apple uses Motion to make all the titles and generators and everything that you can use in uh, Final Cut Pro. So it's basically a uh, massive toolkit with thousands and thousands of options. And that's how I made a uh, stereo tool to create titles for 3D graphics. So here's what a relatively uh, simple project looks like in Motion. And the project uh, is stereo basic and we have to match the size of the Final Cut Pro um, work area 3840 by 1080. And I've broken that down into the right and left eye. And the right eye will be the dominant eye and will be the basis of uh, of movement. As we look under the left eye, the magic is the link to position. And this is a behavior parameter 
um, that links the position of the right eye to that of the left. And we do the same for the text, the size, and the scale of the right side. Uh, we also put a fade in, fade out there as well. And if we look at the right eye, uh, we have to add a fade in, fade out as well. Here is what Motion calls a rig. Rigs can be tied to multiple parameters via checkboxes, sliders, or in this case a pop-up menu. Each option in the pop-up consists of a snapshot of a particular state of chosen parameters. In this instance, each snapshot is linked to both the scale of the right eye text and an offset of the its position, which is determined by the position of the right eye text object. And as you can see here, when I move the right text box, I can move it anywhere on the screen on the right, and the left follows exactly. Um, in stereo videos, if the two text objects are in the exact same position relative to their boundaries, as in the right and left eye here, when viewed stereoscopically, the text will appear as if the text is on a glass window immediately in front of the video. But if the left text object is offset or shifted to the right, and the right text remains stationary or is moved left, the stereo will jump out from the glass window toward the viewer. And if the text object is offset to the left and the right text uh, again remains stationary or is moved to the right, the stereo text will recede from the glass window and appear farther away from the viewer. To accentuate the change in distance from the viewer, I actually scaled closer text size larger and text farther away as a smaller font. In this project, as each pop-up menu item is selected, uh, the parameters for the scale and left text offset are changed. So now back to Final Cut Pro and we have the stereo text uh, and I've added a video and I've added five different uh, text objects each with a different uh, scale and relationship to the base window. And here I'm just scrolling through the entire project to show five different variations. And here's just my attempt to visualize uh, what I was trying to describe. To export the file, we keep H264 in the same size, 3840 by 1080 and then we just export that. So now we have a stereoscopic video uh, VR180 that we can then transfer to a, a headset. And in this example, and I'm not going to go into great detail, on a Mac uh, you need a intermediate program called uh, SideQuest to transfer these files to uh, MetaQuest uh, three and, and maybe even a two. Finally, what I haven't demonstrated is all the more complicated things you can do with the motion template that I've made available below uh, within your own 3D Stereo Final Cut Pro projects. For example, you can change the font and style of the text, although sometimes you'll have to change the properties for both the right and left eye as I didn't link the hundreds of properties of the right text to the left. Or you can animate the text with keyframes on the right eye uh, to wipe the text in and out sideways or up and down or any way you'd like using its position or scale. I hope you have some fun with this or maybe add to the power of the starter motion template. With the introduction of spatial video with Apple's uh, Vision Pro, hopefully Apple will someday update Final Cut Pro to edit these 3D stereo videos and not just their own spatial videos.